How is it going, Toons of the World? It is your pal Mega Snoop bringing you another Toontastic video. And today is sort of a video that some people have requested, so I figured I'd make a video about it. It is about gardening. Now you think gardening is a simple task, but there's really a lot that goes into it, and I'm here to explain it as in-depth and thoroughly as I can. So if you guys are ready, we're gonna jump right into this. Now first as a side note, you have to know that as of right this second, as I'm recording this, gardening is broken for some tunes. There is a brief moment between after gardening was released and before a fix, where if a tune was made during that time period, it may not have a working garden. However, all tunes that are being made right now should have a working garden. Moving on to the actual gardening, the first thing I'm going to talk about is gag trees. Most tunes will refer to these as organic gags. They are gags that you can plant into the ground into trees that give a couple of different benefits. Benefit number one is you have the ability to pick gags. Instead of having to buy them at the gag shop, you can simply pick up to 10 gags off of the tree once they are fully grown. But do note for certain gags such as the birthday cake, you can only hold three birthday cakes. So although you're picking 10 off the tree, you will only receive three. Why this is helpful is because of level seven gags. Level seven gags cannot be bought in the gag shop and have to be earned. But the second way to get a level seven gag is to pick it off a tree. This way you get a new level seven gag every day because of the fact that every day new gags grow on your trees. Now how to plant these trees, you have to find the pile of dirt in the ground, and you have to start with your level 1 gag. You cannot plant a level 2 type of gag unless the level 1 gag of that gag type is planted, and thus down the row. Once you have the level 2 planted, you can plant the level 3, then the level 4, and the level 5. You can do this all the way up to your level 7 gag. A fun note though is that there are 8 mounds of dirt while there are 7 gags per gag track. If you're only going to plant one type of gag, it kind of leaves a funny extra slot open that you could throw an extra level one in there if you wanted to. However, most people don't and they'll leave it blank. Something else you need to understand about the gag trees is that they won't grow right away. It will take three days per level of gag for that tree to fully grow. For instance, the level one gag tree will take three days, the level two will take six, and the level seven will take 21 days because it's three days per level. The other benefit to organic gags is the increase in damage. Minus the lure, of course, since it doesn't do damage, you get an increase in accuracy. The increase in damage is always based on the number found in the tens place and over, which is why if your cream pie isn't fully leveled up and it does 39 damage, then the bonus damage will only be three. Whereas when it is fully leveled up and it does 40 damage, the bonus damage will be 4. And if the original damage is 100, it'll be a bonus damage of 10, adding all the numbers from the tens place and over. Usually the gags that people will plant organically are throw and trap. I won't go into the specifics, but believe me when I say they have some of the highest beneficial damage counters when they are organic. But now let's go into another aspect of gardening, the flowers. Now this kind of seems like a waste of time to most people. But here is what some people don't know, is that you can gain laugh boosts from gardening. Similar to fishing, you'll get a new laugh boost every 10 species that you collect. Now when you first start gardening, you have the ability to plant one jelly bean at a time. And these jelly beans are correlated to the jelly beans that you are holding in your bank and your jelly bean jar. So these are jelly beans that you have and have to earn. Now what you're going to want to do is plant every single different type of flower that can be created from a one jelly bean combo. Since it's just one jelly bean, you can play around with the different combinations to see which one will work and which one won't. However, there is a nice list on the Toon Wiki if you so choose to look at that. Plant all the flowers in all 10 of the spaces surrounding your house. Make sure they're all watered, depending on how big of a watering can you have, and wait until the next physical day. Once it passes midnight, your flowers will grow, and you'll be able to pick them and plant more. As you pick each flower, you will get a shovel skill, and every day you can earn up to 10 shovel skills. When you have the first shovel, it will take you 40 shovel skills in order to earn the ability to plant new flowers. Since there are five different combinations per shovel, you will need to wait until you get your second shovel and able to plant two bean flowers before you can even get your first laugh boost. 
So make sure you are gardening every day to get the maximum benefit out of gardening. Since it's 40 shovel points, it will take approximately 4 days to get to your next shovel, and you'll be able to start planting 2 bean flowers. Once you do, plant all the different types of flowers there, water them, wait until the next physical day, pick them, and you'll have your 10 different species for a laugh boost. Now you can't just pick them though, you have to take them to the wheelbarrow. The wheelbarrow is located on the other side of the states in the dirt pile. It's just like selling fish to a fisherman, you can sell your flowers to the wheelbarrow, and after you get high enough combinations of flowers, you actually begin getting a profit from gardening. It's a nice little way to gain some extra beans every day. As another side note, know that leveling up your watering can doesn't actually lead to anything except the ability to water your plants faster. For instance, the small watering can, you have to water your flowers somewhere between three and five times. Well, with the huge watering can, you can just water it once. And lastly, I want to talk about just a little extra thing that you have the ability to do. Out of Clarabelle's catalog, you have the ability to buy fountains. I'm going to show a quick graphic, and depending on your shovel skill, you'll be able to buy and plant different fountains. And just like with the flowers, it requires a certain combination of jelly beans. Now if you remove the fountain, you don't get any shovel skills for it. You only get shovel skills from picking flowers. But it's just nice to have as some decoration. But that's all I have for the gardening video. Hopefully this inspired some of you guys to get your gardens growing, earn those laugh boosts, get those organic gags, and be able to help in the battle against the cogs. I hope you guys enjoyed. My name is Mega Snoop, and I will see you all next time. Hope y'all enjoyed, and if you did, be sure to smash that like button. It helps me know that my work is appreciated. Leave a comment and subscribe if you're new. You can check out my live stream at twitch.tv forward slash Mega Snoop. Follow me on Twitter at Mega Snoop TTR, and I hope y'all have a toontastic day.